In this video, I will show you how to connect your Namecheap domain to Verso. I'll show you how to add the DNS records, how you can check if it worked even before it propagated, and everything else you need to know on how to connect your Namecheap domain to Verso. To do this, first go to open up Verso and go to the project you want to connect your Namecheap domain to. For example, I'll do this one right here. From there, you want to go to settings in the top of the project and go to domains under general. Now from within domains, you can then click on add domain and then here just type in the domain. So if you're not sure, just open up Namecheap, then go to account here, then dashboard. And from your dashboard, go into your domain list. Now from there, you will find all of the domains that you own on Namecheap. So just click on manage on the one you want to add to Versal. Now here you can simply go and copy your domain. Then go back to Versal and paste in the domain and then redirect it as well to www. which is recommended and I would also do this. Then you can connect it to a specific environment or you can redirect it to another domain. I'll just do an environment and select a production one. From there click save. Now you will need to add the DNS records. So you can see it popped up twice now with invalid configuration. Just click on the one at the bottom first, which is the www one. And for that, you will need to add a C name with www as the name with this value. So I'll show you how to add this. Simply copy the value and go to Namecheap and then go to Advanced DNS right here. Now, if you have any DNS records currently connected like I have, first simply go and delete those records. And after it's completely empty here under the host records, click add new record and first add a CNAME record and then add for the host www and then paste in the value that we just copied and click save changes. From there, go back to Versal and then click on the top one. Now this is a type A DNS record for the name it's add and then the value just copy this and go back to Namecheap. So now click add new record again and do an A record for the host type in add and the IP address simply paste in what you copied and again hit save changes. So once you have a C name record and an A record and you added this correctly you're basically done but it still needs to propagate so that can take some time. So if you go to refresh, you can see that now it does have the check mark. Now it's currently generating an SSL certificate. This can take up to 48 hours. So this can take quite some time. Now what you can do is just head over to dnschecker.org and here type in the domain that you connected. So again, for me, danistutorials.online. And first set it to A and then search. Make sure this is all check marks with the correct value here that you have on Versal. And for the C name, do the same thing. So set it to C name, search. And this, as you can see, is still propagating. So basically, this will take some time. But after a few minutes, these will also become check marks. And that means that you have done it correctly. But again, the SSL certificate that is being generated can take up to 48 hours. But from there, you will then have connected your Namecheap domain. And now all you need to do is basically wait. So now you know how to connect your Namecheap domain to Versal. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.